Hello viewers and listeners of Tech Point Zone. Uh, what you're looking at is a 500 watt uh, portable power station which is um, equipped with a lithium ion phosphate battery that's like PO4 battery. Now as you can see it's portable and it works just fine so long you keep to the usage or the usage guideline so what happened with this uh, portable power station a customer that bought this was complaining that oh this portable power station uh, every time I'm charging it it doesn't uh, give any progress in charging meaning when you are charging it from 25 percent it should be going 50 percent 70 percent to 100 right but in his own case he complained that oh even when the battery is at 75 percent already when it starts charging uh instead of upward progress it keeps going down okay so um i asked him a few questions which he wasn't able to answer so when he uh, kept on complaining, uh, we sent uh, someone to his uh, location after agreeing on the terms. So on getting there, we realized that, okay, he has his power station, which is just 500 watts, and uh, the lithium battery size on it is about 400 watts rated power is 500 watts it's pure sine wave as you can see so what happened upon uh, uh on getting there we realized that this customer was using this power station with an ox fan and when i say an ox fan i mean all those uh, ox fans of uh, 120 150 watts so now let's look at the charging capacity of this charger looking at the charger I'm just trying to get a very good view so looking at this charger as you can see it's a DC 14.6 volts 5 amps output so if you multiply 14.6 by 5 amps, I think it's going to give you about uh, 75 watts. So what happened in the case of this customer is that he got this 500 watts portable power station that has a charger of rated maximum capacity of 75 watts. So he was charging this device with this 75 watts charger but at the same time was discharging well over 150 watts from this portable power station so we found out that he had his tv plug to it and an aux fan and everything by the time it was checked was around 150 something watts okay so this was explained to him, he saw it for himself, he saw the uh, energy discharge, that's energy drawn for this equipment, and he was made to understand that this is a 75 watt charger, which is about the best you can get for a 500 watt portable power station. And at the end of the day, he realized all by himself that he needed to upgrade to a 1,500 watt portable power station now that 1500 watt portable power station has been reviewed briefly if you have not seen that video just click on the link that appears above so you can see what that power station does now for that power station it has a 10 amps 29.5 uh, volt charger 
which is about 300 watts so in his own case where he constantly draws 150 watts to 160 watts he went for that right and every time he's using it at the same time when he's charging it he's drawing about 150 to 160 watts and the charger is uh, outputting between 280 270 260 sometimes 290 watts so meaning as it's consuming 150 watts there is still about 120 to 150 watts charging up the battery so that way he is able to switch on his generator charge the portable power station for five hours leave it to run overnight and anytime Nepal light comes the charger continues charging the portable power station and if there's no power because he has 1500 watts now he's able to run it all through the night to the morning now for this particular type of um, capacity which is 500 watts it is advisable to go for this type of it is advisable to go for this type of fan as you can see it's a solar fan now this fan is 20 watts 20 watts fan and it is also rechargeable so if I switch it on now this is one two three so that's the higher speed now for this particular fan on the speed of number two it runs from 11 p.m. in the night right till 7 a.m. in the morning and uh, it's still running now if you're using this type of fan in the case of this one this Nexus when I checked it's 75 watts so even when you have your portable power station of this on a full charge right remember it's a 500 watts power station so even when you have it on a full charge this 75 watts fan right is going to drain it within six hours so sometimes the usage of your backup power based on the type of equipment you have either they are energy saving or energy efficient as the case may be will determine how long it will last so at the end of the day the customer did not just get an explanation it was depicted for the customer he saw it for himself and he opted for something bigger and uh, everyone is happy so i hope this video helps if it does please like share subscribe and hit the bell icon for notification on our future videos and um, if you want to order any of these portable uh, power stations or inverter or you have a need to design you can reach out to us through this channel we are going to be dropping our website and uh, email contact and whatsapp number very soon so that you can reach us whenever you want to bye for now